What's going on, gardeners? It's Saturday, April 23rd, and it is a gorgeous day here on the southeastern coast of North Carolina. And today, I'm going to show you all how to make your own premium potting mix for half the cost of the premium potting mix products that are sold at big box stores. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to receive new video notifications. And check out our Amazon storefront and spread shop in the video description for a list of the gardening products I use and awesome custom designed apparel and other gear. Your support is greatly appreciated. Appreciated. But before I can show you how to make the mix, let's take a trip to my local Lowe's and show you what I'm comparing my mix to. The cost of pre-made potting mix is extremely high. This bag that is 64 quarts of Stay Green brand potting mix sells for an incredible $13.48 a bag. The least expensive miracle Grow option comes in 50 quart bags and sells for even more money, $15.48 a bag. Then for the absolute cheapest stuff on the shelf, we have a 64 quart bag of Stay Green potting mix, not the moisture control kind, the cheap stuff, that sells for $11.98 a bag. These three cubic foot packages of peat moss, on the other hand, are selling for $13.98 per bale. And these one cubic foot bags of locally made cow manure compost are selling for a total of $2.78 for one cubic foot bag. And then over here we have two cubic foot bags of perlite, which are selling for $17.97 each. The potting mix we are making in this video is going to be a general all-purpose mix designed for potting most trees and annual vegetables that is rich in organic matter and retains moisture well. I will be using this mix primarily to up-pot fig trees, tomatoes, cucumbers, watermelons, and other plants that like even moisture retention. This is not going to be a good seed starting mix because it's going to contain too much heavy organic matter. So if you want to design a seed starting mix, you will want to design a light mix that is predominantly peat moss or core and vermiculite. It is also going to retain too much moisture for specialized plants like citrus, cacti, and others that like fast draining mixes. For those type of plants, you want a specialty mix that focuses more on sand and perlite. Now before I discuss costs and saving money, understand this. Prices will always increase over time. Do not focus on the prices themselves because if you're watching this video years after it was made, the prices will likely be higher. Instead, focus on the percentage saved because the percent savings will hold truer as prices inflate over time. Now, to convert dry quartz to cubic feet for an even comparison, there are 25.714 dry quartz in one cubic foot. After converting units, the cheap Stay Green potting mix is $4.81 per cubic foot. The Stay Green moisture control potting mix is $5.42 per cubic foot. And the miracle Grow potting mix is $7.96 per cubic foot. My potting mix recipe is simple. Three parts peat moss, three parts compost, and one part perlite. So here I have two bales of peat moss, six bags of a cow manure compost, and one bag of perlite. The total cost for these items was $62.61, which will net me 14 cubic feet of dry potting mix. This equates to a unit cost of $4.47 per cubic foot. That is a savings of 7.09% over the cheap Stay Green mix, 17.43% savings over the Stay Green moisture control mix, and a whopping 43.82% savings over the miracle Grow potting mix. But here's the kicker. I've purchased that cheap Stay Green mix before, and it's pretty terrible. It is mostly bark and sticks, and I wouldn't recommend anyone use it long term. What we are going to make here is a much higher quality potting mix, which is better compared to a premium product. This will be a premium potting mix for about 40% to 50% savings over the higher cost, higher end, pre-bagged potting mix. We're making a premium mix for less cost than the cheap stuff. 
And remember folks, the three potting mixes that I'm comparing these costs to were the three cheapest potting mixes that they had at Lowe's. They had mixes that were way more expensive, like the miracle Grow Moisture Control Potting Mix cost even more money. And if you buy these compressed bricks of HP Pro Mix, these bricks are about $15 a piece. So when you compare this mix we're going to make today compared to the most premium products at your big box store, this is way less than half the cost. So now I'm gonna show you how to make the mix. Making 14 cubic feet of container mix would require an enormous container, and I don't have anything that large, so I'm going to make half at a time. And to do that, I'm going to use this old kiddie pool that we bought for Dale, but we couldn't get him used to uh, getting wet. He doesn't like it, so we will use this as our container mix container. So I'm going to start off by hydrating this peat moss. If you're working with peat moss like I am, the hydration step is optional. You don't have to do it. I just find it's a little bit easier to work with if it's lightly moist but not wet. If you are using bricks of cocoa core, that absolutely must be fully hydrated beforehand so it is workable. Now that my peat moss has been very lightly moistened, I'm going to add the perlite next. And I strongly recommend that you add the perlite in between the peat moss or cocoa core and the compost layer. You want it in the center because we're gonna have to mix this all together and it's much easier if the perlite is placed in the middle, almost like the cream inside an Oreo. So we are just going to dump half this bag into this kiddie pool. It doesn't have to be exact. We just wanna get it as close to half as possible. Now the last thing we're going to do is add our cow manure compost. And it is very important that you make sure that the compost is fully composted before you add it to the mix because you don't want raw compost in there. That will begin to generate heat. It will also rob nitrogen from the mix. It won't be good for your plants. So what you're going to want to do is take a little handful of the compost and smell it. And it should be odorless. This compost smells exactly like dirt. There's no odor to it at all, so we know that it is fully composted and safe to add to our container mix. I'm going to do the same thing to all three bags. And everything is odor free, so now we are going to add it to the mix. Now we're going to get our hands in there and begin mixing this mix together as completely as possible. And I recommend a few things before you get started doing this. Number one, I recommend you wear gloves because this is a pretty messy procedure and you're going to get tons of dirt underneath all your fingernails. Number two, wear sunglasses because it can be quite dusty. This is another reason why I recommend pre-moistening your peat moss, even though you don't have to beforehand because it's very dusty. And if you use it completely dry, it can get into your eyes and into your lungs and be quite unhealthy and irritating. So I'm going to spread the moist compost on top and I'm going to begin stirring from the bottom up like I'm kneading a giant ball of dough. And after about 10 minutes of mixing, I have this super premium potting mix that you see right before you. And just to put things in perspective, for $30, I have an entire kiddie pool filled to the rim full of high quality, super premium potting mix. And you can see just how gorgeous this potting mix is. This is not cheap. There aren't big sticks and big chunks of wood in here. You can see how much perlite is running through the potting mix. You can see how well it'll retain moisture and how it clumps together because of the awesome peat moss content. And now that you have your base mix, you can decide if you want to add anything to this mix. Do you want to add any organic fertilizer? Do you want to add any bone meal, any kind of garden lime or anything like that, you can be the judge. You can make that determination. This is your base potting mix and anything that you use after this will be up to you. I choose to add my fertilizer at planting, so I will not be add adding any fertilizer right now. 
And that right there is how you can make not only a super premium all-purpose potting mix at less than half the cost of your super premium varieties at your local big box store, but at a fraction of the cost of the cheapest potting mixes that they have at your big box store. This super premium all-purpose potting mix will give you great results for the overwhelming majority of fruit trees, regular trees, and vegetables in your garden. And if you want to see what I'm going to use this potting mix for, stay tuned because I have a whole bunch of tomatoes and fig trees to up pot. So everybody, if you found this video helpful, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell so you're notified when we release more videos like these. If you're curious about any of the products that I use in my garden in general, they are all linked in my Amazon storefront link down in the video description. And while you're there, check out my spread shop link for custom merch if you want to support the channel. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see all of you again on the next video. Look at that handsome boy over there soaking up the sun on his elevated outdoor bed. He looks so cool. He's like the king of the castle. Hey Dale, are you enjoying this beautiful day? Are you soaking up the sun? You look like you're having a heck of a good old time. Lucky boy. He's so handsome. He's got his eyes on the whole... Oh no! No! Dale! No! <laughs> Pay attention buddy, you're on camera. Oh, Dale, sometimes he just doesn't know how to behave in front of people.